you guys, it's me, Jenna, again. Um, how you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing pretty well. I know I'm doing pretty well today. Um, sportman uh, pumpkin shirt that I actually got from work from Target, uh, last weekish for like 10 bucks. It's in the guys section. I like it. I think you guys can get a pretty good view of that. Anyway, anyway. Um, so today, you know, I figured I was gonna maybe do something maybe a slightly different uh not like different different I know I've done like um other stuff on this channel um but like I mean I'm not gonna do like an unboxing I'm not gonna talk like a, about a specific movie or anything um today I thought I'd kind of maybe give my opinion about um uh, like kids in horror movies like letting kids watch horror movies um Reason being is, especially lately, I feel like I've gotten a lot of people, like, especially people, like, at work or even, like, some of my regular guests who may find out that I am a huge horror fan, um, like, ask me, like, hey, you know, at what age do you think is it appropriate to, you know, start letting kids watch scary movies? Or like, hey, you know, my kid's asking about scary movies, you know, is showing some interest of wanting to watch scary movies, what do you think? And when someone asks me that, like, you know, hey, my kid's wanting to watch horror movies, I always ask, well, how old are they? Because, you know, depending on, like, the age, like, if the kid is, like, 10 and under, I, you know, my choices or my recommendations are going to be much different than if the kid is a teenager, like 14, 15, 16, you know, like, um, like if they're younger, I might recommend something like, um, actually a perfect example would be like, uh, you know, something, um, uh, by Alfred Hitchcock, like maybe Psycho or The Birds or even like old episodes of the Twilight Zone or something, um, you know, um, and actually I, uh, just had, uh, one of my regular guests, uh, this last week, she actually was talking to, uh, one of my co-workers and, you know, I guess she was, um, you know, I guess she's like, she knows, uh, my co-worker like outside of work, like their neighbors or something and they're talking and I guess she was saying like how her kids who, her kids are like under 10. I'm not sure exactly how old they are, but I know they're like under 10 or just coming to like 10 years old. I think the oldest one is. And, um, you know, I guess she was kind of saying how, you know, they, they're showing an interest in scary movies. And my coworker was like, you know, who you should talk to is the girl over in Delhi. Like, she's a huge like horror fan and she would totally know like some good like recommendations like I would trust her judgment on like what you should kind of maybe let your kid see and I was kind of I was pretty honored by that you know because a lot of people like I said a lot of people know I'm into horror movies and stuff and I even told her I was like you know I would see something like you know once again like Alfred Hitchcock or something or you know, something like that, you know, or like the old, like, monster films like Frankenstein and, um, The Mummy, Dracula and stuff, because they're so, like, uh, especially compared to what we have today, it's, like, very kind of tame. I feel like they'd get kind of scared, but not, like, really, like, super duper scared, you know, as opposed to if, like, they watch something like, you know, Day of the Dead or something, or Dawn of the Dead, or, you know, any one of these movies that we have today. Um, but, I don't know, I just, like I said, I get asked a lot about, you know, about this stuff. Um, you know, and if, like, her kids were older, like, you know, I said, like, in their teens, I'd be like, you know what, show them, you know, show them, like, Friday the 13th, show them Halloween, show them, like, Texas Chainsaw. Um, you know, actually, and actually, this guest, uh, was telling me how, like, a week or two before this, um, she, like, her husband was home or something, and, like, he had Texas Chainsaw Massacre on, like, the original, and she's, like, they're, like, ten minutes into it, and she's, like, no, they are not watching this, and I, 
I even told her, I was like, yeah, I'm like, at their age, Texas Chainsaw might not be the best choice. Um, at least let them, you know, warm up to a couple of, like, horror movies, like some of the, like, older classics than that. Um, and I'm not saying that Texas Chainsaw isn't a classic. I think it's a classic. It is a classic. Um, but I'm saying, like, you know, once again, like, Psycho or something. Um... And you know, I thought that was pretty cool because, you know, like, you know, once again, I like I said, like, her kids are, like, younger. I know they're, like, kind of, like, like, slightly younger than, uh, like, my brother's kids. So, you know, it was pretty cool to know that she, you know, was kind of asking me, like, what do you think, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I told her, I was like, you know, any recommendation I give you, I would say first, you know, watch yourself just to make sure. Because, I mean, I, you know... Like, I know you as a guest and everything, but I don't know, like, your to your kid's tolerance for, like, scary stuff. You know, I definitely don't want you to think I'm, like, giving them suggestions and then they watch and they're like, and you're like, what? What is this? What is this? So, but she was pretty cool about it. Um, you know, and I, like I said, I get that all the time. Like, you know, even other co-workers who are like, oh, you know, my kid's starting to, you know, is like just entering, you know, adolescence and, you know kind of really showing interest in scary movies plus it's kind of like the right age that you know they're really gonna start you know watching this stuff and you know I'll, I'll make suggestions and stuff or be like hey you know look on Netflix look at some of the stuff that they have and stuff let them kind of see what they like you know and I you know and then I know that there's other people um like my sister-in-law um like, she doesn't want her girls to be watching scary movies, like, at all. And I respect that. Like, and I don't really, like, push it of, like, you know, let your kids watch them. Let them watch them. They ask about it. I'm just like, you know what? Whenever she's ready for her kids to watch scary movies, cool beans. Um, I know that, I know, like, those two, her girls are, like, they, they're they vo fully aware of, like, who Michael Myers is and Jason. It just cracks me up. Like, and yet they don't really watch any of this except for, like, around this time of, time of the year when it's on TV or something and their dad, my brother, is, like, watching this stuff on TV. And I'm like, you're probably better off just letting me show them some movies now because my brother's probably torturing them with, like, the human centipede or something. And I'm like they shouldn't watch that at their age. Um, but like I said, I mean, I respect her uh, stance on that. You know, I respect it. I'm not going to overstep her boundaries or anything. Um, you know, because like I said, that's, you know, that's her wishes. I respect it. Um, plus, I guess apparently one of my nieces, my younger nieces, who's like a little uh, mini-me, uh, who's like in touch with like the dark side, as I like to say, which I had nothing to do with. Um, I guess she was the one who, um, she feels like would have more of, like, an issue with, like, being scared with these movies, which I'm like, what? Like, she's like, she's like little princess of darkness, you know, and it just cracks me up. Like, she'll, like, if she had this shirt, she would be wearing it every day for the next two years so she grew out of it. Like, no joke. Um... But I don't know, like, I just feel, um, you know, especially, like, at that age, too, because they're, uh, they're coming up, like, um, at that age where they're, like, you know, like, ten and eight, or actually ten and almost gonna be nine, uh, because I know one of them's got a birthday in, like, a week. I gotta get a birthday present. I just thought of that. Um, but anyway... I did get a present. Um, but I don't know, like, I feel like... Especially with today, um, it's so easy for kids to, you know, look up horror movies and, like, you know, go on Netflix while their parents aren't home or, or in the other room. Um, you know, that they're going to kind of stumble upon these movies no matter what. That I feel like, you know, some parents should kind of, like, obviously not let them watch horror movies all the time there's certainly certain things especially like depending on like the age like I said that kids really should not like watch certain movies at certain ages like I said like my younger nieces and my nephew um like I 
would never, I would not let them watch the Human Centipede uh, trilogy or um, a Serbian film. I would not let them watch until probably like they're much later, much well into their teens. Um, like I've never even seen a um, a Serb a Serbian film just because I like I know that's one of those movies that'd be I, it would be too difficult for me to watch. Um, but I don't know, who knows, they might grow up, watch that film, and be like, dude, it's not that bad, whatever. Or even, like, the Saw, Saw movies. Like, I would not let them watch until they're, um, a, a bit older, quite a bit older, you know. Um, but, you know, like I said, like, I feel like, you know, parents should, like, at least let their kids watch some horror movies, because I, I know a few people, especially in, like, recent years that I've talked to, that I'm like, well, you know, I ask people who, you know, if I find out someone doesn't like, a, you know, horror movies, I'm like, well, why don't you like them, you know? Like, they're, you know, they can be fun, you know, it's fun to be scared and stuff. And a few people that I know um, have told me that they, their, like, introduction to horror movies was, like, such a horrible experience. And it's, like, it's so unfortunate. Like, one of the girls... Um, that I was talking to not that long ago, you know, she was telling me how, like, uh, she never really had watched horror movies, but she was, uh, with a group of friends, and, like, they, you know, they wanted to watch a horror movie, and she's kind of like, oh, I guess she was a little uneasy about it, she's like, I don't know, like, you know, maybe I should, you know, head out, just because, you know, I don't know, you know, um, and I guess they kind of convinced her to stay and watch a movie, but then what had happened was they kind of, like, ended up, like, bullying her and, like, like, almost, like, tying her up or doing something where, like, she couldn't, like, leave. Almost like a kidnap situation. Not, like, literally kidnapping, but, like, they were just, like, being her friends, like, doing, like, what friends sometimes do where, like, they haze each other once in a while. I, I, like, I feel like that's, like, so inappropriate to say, like, that's not what I want to say, but... They were just, like, kind of, like, I don't know, I think one of her friends, like, sat on her or something, like, sat on her lap and she couldn't move and, or, like, tied her hands or something so she couldn't move and, like, forced her to watch a scary movie and, like, just the whole experience kind of, like, traumatized her from, like, watching horror movies and I was like, that is terrible, like, nobody should ever, like, their first introduction to horror is not at all be like that like that is horrible and I've told her many a times I was like no if you do ever kind of like get the muster up the courage that you want to maybe try watching a horror movie again like I am more than glad to maybe like show you a movie or lend you a movie that I think you'd be kind of okay with I'm not gonna give you anything crazy um but you know, like, if you do, just let me know, you know, and it, once again, if, like, she didn't, if she doesn't ever want to, I respect that as well, but, um, it just, I think of, like, stuff like that, and I've heard, like, other similar stories where, where people are like, oh, God, like, my friends tricked me, or, you know, whatever, and, like, just horrible experiences, and they're, like, they always are gonna have those, like, negative experiences, associated with horror movies, you know, that it's like, you know, just, you know, let, you know, like I said, let, you know, your kids, you know, especially if they're sh showing interest in maybe watching a scary movie, you know, let them watch it and like, you know, make sure you explain to, you know, your, your child or your children of like, hey, you know, so you know, you do realize this is a movie you're probably going to be scared, but that's the point, is to get you scared. Just remember, when it's over, it's, you know, it's over. It's, you know, it's just a movie. It's pretend. It's fake. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't think you should necessarily deny a kid from watching scary movies, especially if they're kind of, like, showing an interest, but, you know, like I said, just, you know, my little thought, um... You know, and I, you know, I'd like to know what everyone else thinks about that. Because, like I said, I mean, I, I've said in, in previous videos, like, many times, like, I, um, definitely, like, got a very early introduction to, uh, horror movies. 
because of the fact that like I'm the youngest of four and especially my brother and my oldest sister they're so much older than me that I kind of by the time I was like three or four I was watching these because my brother at the time was like 13 14 years old so I kind of somewhat I don't want to say against my will but it was just like already there and it was already in my home so I kind of already was seeing this stuff um and of course when I'm like that young it's like I just thought it was normal I mean it wasn't really until I was like an adult in my like 20s or, like maybe mid 20s where I talked to people I was like oh like I start to realize like oh yeah that's not really normal to like watch scary movies at three or four years old like that's not normal most kids don't watch their first movie until maybe like around the age of 10 but whatever whatever um but yeah I mean I like I said I mean and I know some kids like um it just hit like their personality like they might not be ready until much later like, maybe into their teens or something. Like, I know my oldest sister, like, I kind of vaguely remember, like, there were certain movies that she just could not, like, handle at all. Like, I think, um, I think Stephen King's It, I think for the longest time she was like, oh my god, it's a clown! And I'm like, dude, it's a made-for-TV movie, it's not that bad. I think she's now able to watch that movie, but, like I said, she just, I remember her with some movies, it was like... So, like, you know, that's a good example where it's, like, you know, there are some kids that just aren't ready to watch scary movies until much later. So, you know, yeah, it's whatevs. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, I just kind of wanted to, like, you know, give my opinion about that. You know, I want to know what you guys think, too. Like, you know, what do you guys think the appropriate age is to show horror movies to kids? You know, do you think it... Uh, do you think it matters if they're younger, older, or if, like, even their personality plays into effect on letting them watch these movies? Let me know. Let me know. What do you guys think? Um, and then until next time, you guys, you all stay creepy.